Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Vidak on the Madden 17, and today we actually got the news on Twitter. You guys can see right there. The news on Twitter is that the Madden loyalty program is now making its way into Madden 17. So what this is yet is we're not completely sure, to be completely honest, and I can't believe I'm saying completely this so much already in the beginning of this video. But basically, what's going on right now, as far as I know, is tomorrow we're going to start off with the Mutt Loyalty sort of thing in Madden. And what it looks like is it's going to be objective based. You guys can see right here the head to head seasons, the weekly solo objectives, and the Brady bunch of objectives. So what I think is going to happen is we're going to get a new set of objectives that are going to go into here that you're going to be able to complete to be able to get Mutt Loyalty badges. We're going to go ahead and read off what we could get with this Mutt Loyalty program right there. I'm going to read it off with you guys. Complete weekly objectives to earn tokens. So it appears that once a week you're going to be able to earn tokens. One token equals a pro pack. Two tokens is in-season program hero. Four tokens is a motivator two pack. Six tokens is an ultimate legend player. And ten tokens is a 99 overall players. Plural. The first thing I want you guys to notice is there is a pro pack picture with the pro pack. There's an in-season program hero. And that appears to just be like an elite sort of pack that they usually put on elite player packs motivator 2 which is indeed a picture of motivator 2 ultimate legends player and you guys can see they use a picture of marshawn lynch and then under the 99 overall players you guys can actually see that there is a deandre hopkins it appears to be and there is actually no 99 overall deandre hopkins in the game so that is foreshadowing that we're going to be getting a 99 overall DeAndre Hopkins. So what is the loyalty program? Some of you may be asking. Maybe you didn't play Madden 16 last year and you relate to Madden 17 this year or something like that. Maybe you don't know what the loyalty program is. Well, if you go over to sets, hop over to redemption and scroll down, you guys can see that the redemption sets are actually still available right now from the loyalty badges that you earn from Madden 16. So with these loyalty badges, you could exchange two of them for a contract pack, a silver pack, three of them, three of them for a silver pack for defense, event tickets. We got pro packs, we got gold player packs, offense and defense, a all pro pack, an elite pack on offense, an elite pack on defense, and a legends pack. So another thing that's worth bringing up, if you guys look right there, you can see that with the tweet of that picture, it actually does say, complete objectives, earn tokens, and redeem for packs and players right now, plus get rewards in the next Madden. So that means not only are you getting stuff for this year by completing this stuff, but you guys are also going to be earning stuff for next year. So I don't know if they're going to be doing the same thing they're going to do that they did last year, because last year, which is the beginning of Madden 17, it was kind of like you earn badges by doing a bunch of, by doing like hero sets, positional hero sets. You earn badges, you put the badges into an elite badge, and then the next year, whenever you sign in, you got up to 10, you got awarded your 10 elite badges. But that was from 15 to 16, 17, or I'm sorry, 15 to 16, 16 to 17 was basically the same thing, but they made it a little bit easier and made the cap a little bit higher, you guys could see. So basically what I'm trying to say is they've been changing it every single year about how they do it, and it looks like this year it might be a little bit better than last year, considering the rewards you're getting are not just for next year, they're also for this year. Because I remember in Madden 15 specifically, there was a 4th of July promotion, and what you had to do was actually add like 599 overall players to get an 85 overall for next year. So these were tradable players. These were perfectly tradable players. And I think it was like a Vincent Jackson, a Jared Allen, a, um, uh, a Larry Wilson, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, and I believe there was one other card as well. Oh, a Ronnie Lott. And some of these cards were going for a mil a million, I believe, or something like Ronnie Lott was going for a crap. And like these cards were going for a lot. And you had to put in all of these cards into a set that gave you an 85 overall card that you could use next year. So basically, it kind of fucked you royally, really, is what it did. Because it it was it was really dumb. But it looks like this year they're actually gonna reward you this for this game and the next game. So that's something you gotta be excited about. They're definitely learning from their past mistakes, and that's something I gotta give them credit for. But as far as the other 99 overall players, because it does say plural, as in multiple players, not just one, which is the DeAndre Hopkins that they have clearly shown. There is going to be multiple 99 overall players, and we won't know anything about it until tomorrow. So you guys, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to make a video as soon as I can on whatever is out. That way I can inform you guys, just in case you guys aren't following Twitter, you guys don't have a Twitter or anything like that. I'm going to do my best to try and make a video as soon as possible for that. That's pretty much all there is for this video. Hopefully you guys are just excited for this promotion as I am. If you guys are, definitely give a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, peace.